Hello, this is Julia Davis of Finchley Yoga, and I am here today with Julia Paulette Hollenbury, who is going to be running our final moon circle before the summer, which will take place on the 5th of July. And I wanted to chat to Julia. And first of all, I just wanted to ask you, Julia, what does it mean to you to sit in circle with women? I love being with women. I really, really love being with women. Women who have uh, soft boobs and bodies and experiences just like mine. So, um, well, I, I shared with you just before about how some of my favourite conversations with women have been in the women's toilets at events. And, you know, you have this kind of like... Um, we have this kind of like special conversation that happens with strangers that's permissible in the, it's kind of like intimacy that can happen in the uh, women's toilets at events. And um, yeah, so I can totally see that if, you, if you're with women impromptu, that these things can happen, these magic moments can happen when we're with other women. And maybe sitting in circle on purpose, that magic naturally happens anyway. Do you find that that happens um, when you are in groups with women, that kind of the magic that might happen by accident in those kind of snatched moments can be given space to breathe? It's funny, isn't it? Because the ladies' toilets are that little um, secret cubicle. So when we consciously sit together, absolutely, we are giving ourselves permission. And the truth is that magic happens whenever and wherever women gather. We just talk. And in fact, we're so starved of it that as soon as we gather, we, I mean, we're just so excited about it. Something true begins to emerge from our shared experiences. So there are the moments in our lives when we are given that magic by accident and there are those moments in our lives where we choose to be in those places. Can you take your mind back to a, a, a kind of the first women's circle that you sat in or the first time you intentionally sat in a room or chose to be in a room with other women where that magic occurred? What comes to mind when you ask me that is being at my all girls school and how we would find little places like in the library or little cozy places where a group of us could be. Um, and over the years I've sat with uh, different uh, groups of women and um, it's different, uh, there've been different things, different things have been appropriate for me at different times. And how did you come to move from being in a place where you might be sitting with your friends in the school library at school or chatting in the toilets at an event um, or something of that stage to actually consciously um, choosing to be around women in a kind of holding space for them situation, which is quite different to the, ones, the, the, the things that you've spoken to, about, to me about so far. So um, something that I really, really, really care about is the female way of doing things. So we know what that is as women. It is getting on with it. It is um, being inclusive. It is being relational. It's being sensual. There are many things that is the feminine way of being within this um, masculine world. So. Um, the feminine way is very dear to me amongst, I've done many, many trainings and one of my trainings is with McKenna Bomb. It's a stream of uh, Kashmiri Shivais and Tantra. And it is in, uh, it is the wild woman's way. Could you speak to that? A so, um, what is that those words kind of came flowing out and um, can you explain what those words mean? It comes from, uh, I'm sure you know the book, The Women Who Run With The Wolves. Uh, it's a seminal book. Um, 
it's rewilding us because as women we have become so over uh, conditioned by the uh, society that takes masculine as a as a norm and as women we've become so civilized in our the way that we put ourselves together and try to um, cope with the demands of of everyday life so the work is about dropping that and returning to our natural essential wild sensual relational wonderful dynamic spontaneous cells which when we gather together with other women we do naturally yeah yeah so we had a little chat earlier on and you said julia i know that you like to think about what you want from these um, mini retreats and i was sharing with you my sense of overwhelm that I have at the moment because I've got lots of um, I feel like a juggler at the moment I'm not quite sure what's going to drop <laughs> so um, we'd said that that might be an issue that many women face I might not be the only woman in the street <laughs> who is experiencing overwhelm at the moment and um, I just wanted you to maybe speak to to that because that may well be the theme that we look at um, on the 5th of July. So we are cut off from our bodies, aren't we? We are criticised as women um, and we are expected to be perfect partners and mothers and career women and it's an awful, awful lot. And we're without uh, the natural um, sources of nourishment in the old days women as you know sat in um sat in circles sat in red tents i mean it is the most natural um way for us to resource ourselves so the way to calm out of these fragmented pieces you know where we're running in this direction and 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 this direction, and this direction, and this direction all at once yeah is to begin to feel safe to begin to relax to come back to the body and feelings to come back to focus and of course from that more drop place we can actually get an awful lot either more done or more or be discriminating as to what's actually necessary that needs to be done and what I, can be I just love it's like i kind of felt that pause when you were like because it was so easy to say, we could do more. And then you stopped and you were like, you can discriminate. You can decide what's important. And absolutely, I, I, what, you, what you just said then, I was, it was like really singing to my soul. Because as a yoga teacher, I know I can practice restorative yoga. I know I can meditate. I know I can um, put into practice all the practices that I have. And I do. I was meditating before. I, probably, you know, I do do those. But there's something about being with other women and feeling held in a space with other women that you can't do by yourself. Um, and you're not supposed to do by yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that's the piece is that we all live this crazy sanitized life. Sorry to interrupt you, but we're all in these isolated homes and we're not supposed to be. We're very much supposed to be connected. Yeah, um, and I see this um, space absolutely. For, as we were saying before, there are a couple of women who are at our circle um, just gone, and they both one had decided to not work for whatever reason and come, and the other one is like, I decided this was more important than work today, so I cancelled my work meetings and I came here. Um, so there are people who are choosing to step out of the um, business world space into a women's space. And there are also those of us who are working by ourselves or working, running our own businesses. And we need the actual connection um, with women too. And just because this will be a new space with you, it'll be different to um, the one before. What might it feel like for women to step into a space with you? 
I don't know that I can answer that question, but maybe there'll be a flavor of it on this video. What I wanted to say is that I love men. You know, we love men, but we also love women. There is something, there is just something amazing that happens when women get together. What will it feel like? Um, safe, first of all. Um, I want to say equal and inclusive and gentle and sensual and permissive and allowing and acknowledging of all the things that we so tend to label as, you know, imperfections and self-judge. So I guess it will be playing and rolling together and yeah. seeing what we seeing what each person needs as well as what is being asked of us yeah that's beautiful um, i'm really pleased that you said the piece about loving men as well um, because the sitting in circle with women or people who identify as women is a beautiful practice to have but that doesn't mean that um it is a place means that there's a place in our lives that doesn't mean that we don't love the men in our lives and respect them and believe that they should have the space for themselves to be together. There's something magical that happens when men sit in circles together. There's something magical that happens when men and women sit in circle together. Um, but there is absolutely, I believe, that's why we're having these circles, it, you know, the, the space for women to sit together, the space for men to sit together, and the space for men and women to sit together that I think it, having those pockets of um, space for us to feel safe and able to speak our truth is really, really um, valuable. Yeah. And just to add, um, we might, we'll do some sitting together, but we might also do some dancing together or some pouring tea ritual together or some um, tarot card divination together. It won't uh, necessarily all be sitting on our backsides. There'll be some active um, somatic embodied activities too. Oh, lovely. I love the idea of there being somatic embodied activities too. I think we, we, we are quite used to that with the um, moon circle. We've done things as far reaching as painting our own self portrait and um, making little wraps of things. So it's lovely to think that it won't be sitting in circle and talking. It'll be um, embodying um, the activity of the day so i'm just going to wrap this up right now by saying thank you so much um julia i really feel like we have a flavor of you and a flavor of what it might feel like to sit in circle with I you love that. <laughs> we've got our boobs together absolutely exactly what the circle will be about yes <laughs> that sounds amazing um and i am really looking forward to sitting in circle with you and just for everyone to know we'll put it in the notes below um but we will be sitting in circle um and standing in circle and dancing in circle on the uh, 5th of july the Moon Circle takes place from 11.30 till 2 and all the booking details will be um, below here for you all to um, see. Thank you so much for your time, Julia. Thank you.